Okay, we have here two columns, again A and B like always, X minus Y, column B, Y minus X. And we have the fact here that X is a positive integer, let's put PI, and Y is a negative integer, and I. So let's just start low and say, okay, sure, 1 is X, and Y is negative 1. So we plug in our own numbers, and we see if there's any pattern. Well, obvious pattern right now is A is bigger. Okay, what happens? Well, let's say I take y and I wait, make y here more negative. Well, what happens when I make it more negative, such as negative 10? Well, it's simply 1 minus negative 10, which is 1 plus 10, which is 11. And you can see that the greater I make it, y is negative 50. This would become 51, so on and so forth. This side, a, keeps on getting greater and greater. Now, it's already in the lead, so to speak. What happens to column B, though? Does it catch up at any point? Well, let's try that. Y, we said a second ago, was negative 10. We ended up getting 11 on that side. And X, we kept it as 1. What happens here, though? Oh, wait a second. I get a negative 11. And then if I plug in Y is negative 50 minus 1, I get negative 51. So it seems whatever this side is, you just take the negative of it to get this side. And this side here, side A, can never be negative. It's always positive. This side is always the negative of that. And therefore, A is always going to be bigger.